How did Shinobi climb up a wall? Most people say grappling hook. However, there is, um, uh, well, then, then there's the people who would say, actually, they would step on their swords. And then there's the people who've really read, and they would say, actually, they attach a grappling hook to their sword. So, this is the setup a Shinobi might have. They'll have their grappling hook, which has a rope roughly about four metres. And what they do is they put it down through the uh, scabbard of their sword. There's a hole in here called the uh, Udenuki hole, basically. And that you put the rope through there. The reason for this is that when you stand up and you climb up, uh, what you do is you pull the sword up after you. And this stops the sword clanging on the wall because it keeps it vertical. So you step on this bit, you pull on that bit and you hook that bit. What this means is you throw the hook up, you grab the hook, so, but instead of having to pull your entire body weight up, which is not easy, especially on thin rope, you then attach it to the sword, you put the sword on the ground, you stand on the sword, which means you can pull up on the rope and pull up and then grab, get onto the wall, then pull the sword up without it hitting the wall, take it off, dismantle it, put your hook down and off you go again. And um, this is from the Natoryu traditions. This actually comes in multiple traditions, but this is definitely uh, a Natoryu skill. I've only ever seen the grappling hook and sword connected in Natoryu. So we're using the Natoryu blank workbook, and at the side of me, there's the Book of Samurai series, and this is where you start with your ninja training. You've got the Book of Samurai series and True Path of the Ninja. So enjoy, and I hope you subscribe and keep up with the series.